Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I am here with a trying new makeup from subscription services, from makeup subscription services. So this is actually the makeup that was from my Ipsy and my Babe box that I got. And so I pretty much had everything except for a blush, bronzer, concealer, and a uh, brow product. And so we're going to go ahead and get right into that. Okay, so... First things first, starting with primer, I'm going to take my Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist and just mess my face with this. What? <laughs> okay, and then in my Ipsy box, or Ipsy bag, I got this Ultra Repair, ultra, this ultra repair Hyaluronic hydration hydrating primer by first aid beauty and so i'm gonna take this one all over the face the same way that i do with my ulta beauty hydrating primer it's kind of the same exact consistency i didn't mean to get that much it kind of just plopped out yeah this feels like a moisturizer this one's a little more thick than the ulta one and it smells like cucumbers like cucumber melon i don't know what scent i'm talking about Okay, and then just because I need something to fill in my pores, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and just get my cheeks with that. Okay, so going in with brows, I'm going, I loved the way my brows came out yesterday in, well, in the last video I filmed. And so I'm going to be taking my Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil and just filling my brows in with that. That's I went ahead ooh. I went ahead and added some tape just so that way my eyeshadow look could be a little more cleaned up. So today I'm going to be taking my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and priming and priming my lids with this. Okay, taking my Morphe sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out on my lids. There's no cream shade in this palette, so I'm going to go ahead. And I just realized in my boxy charm, boxy charm, in my Ipsy um, unbagging, I said that I couldn't find the name on this, but it's actually Bella Pierre um, Banana Setting Powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my lids with this. I mean, it looks a little thick. I'm taking this Wet n Wild um, concealer brush, and I'm just going to pick up some of that powder. It's not thick. And let's go ahead and set. I like this powder so far. Feels very finely milled. Yeah, that's like super duper soft. I cannot wait to use that underneath these eyelids eyelids underneath the eye <laughs> okay so taking this <laughs> how many of you laughed on my babe box and boxing when i kept calling this folicure when it clearly says folk allure folk allure lore folk allure focal lore focal lore yeah, I kept pronouncing that wrong the entire video. Okay, so I am. I did get these um, in my Ipsy bag. These were add-ons. And so was the primer that I used. And I forgot to say, this was actually an add-on in my Ipsy bag. As well as the two makeup brushes that I'm going to be using. And this is from the Ipsy um, X Tetris collection. In this Focalure palette, I'm going to be taking this light brown right here. And I'm going to be buffing that into my crease area. Ooh. It's a lot of, if you don't dab it off, kind of has a lot of pigment. This isn't a bad mirror in the palette. It's just really tiny. I, mean, I guess I could use it. These 
aren't bad eyeshadows, but like on camera, it kind of looks like nothing's happening, at least to me. It always looks different once I actually import the footage onto my computer. But like right now when I look like on the screen, it doesn't look like this is doing anything, but in person, it's basically just adding like a very light wash of color back into my crease to where it doesn't look just super light because of the concealer and powder. Now I'm going in with this other um, Ipsy and Tetris brush and it just looks like this so it's basically just a more defined crease brush and you can tell whenever they're right next to each other the difference in them and so yeah I'm only taking the one with the pink top and I was saying in my Ipsy video that these brushes are way longer than my other brushes okay so like this is a BH Cosmetics brush and that's the height difference this is my Makeup Geek brush height difference and then this is an Ulta Beauty one, still very different. And so, yeah, and I think that's it. This is one of my favorite brushes that came in a Walmart brush pack. And yeah, let's see the Profusion one. See, every time I think it's going to be close, like it's still kind of taller. So, yeah, but I mean, I'm not mad about it. I actually kind of like it because this is what helps me because I'm used to holding it like right here. This is going to help me learn how to be a little bit more light handed with my shadows. Okay, so going back in with this palette, and I'm going to take this tad bit darker, warmer brown right here and do the same exact thing. Just going to be a little bit more precise with that. And there's literally only two mattes in this palette. not um, And so that's going to be a little bit difficult because I really wanted to go in with that pretty gold that came in my Ipsy bag. So just taking this along the outer corner and going into my lower crease i'm not buffing it out the way i did that first brown shade so like these shadows are smooth they're very blendable like i said my only complaint so far about this palette is that it's like the pans are very very tiny not super tiny to where like they're unusable, but like tiny enough to where it bothers me, if that makes sense. I feel like this light is literally washing everything out because on my mirror, like I can tell what's happening, but like it looks like nothing's happening to my eyelids when I look on the screen. Okay, and since I literally have like no other choice, because I really didn't want to, because I really didn't want to go into another palette. I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Outer V brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this darker shimmery brown, and very lightly apply that to the lower outer V, just to add some more like depth and definition before I go in with that gold. And like the good thing is, is that it's not like super shimmery to where it's gonna like throw off the whole look of having a shimmer kind of in the outer v crease area if that makes sense and so i'm going back in with this brush that we took that darker brown on and i'm just going to blend that out just a little bit to where the line doesn't look so harsh like i said i just wanted that darker color to add a little more depth to the eye look Okay, going back in with that same brush and we're just gonna add just a little bit now we're done with that for now I'm going in with this Tetris eyeshadow that came in the ipsy bag and this is in the shade game night and so I'm going to go in with my middle finger and I'm just going to dab like just the tiniest bit it's actually really really green I don't know if I want to use that let's see That's not bad. And I'm just going to put that literally right in the center of my eye. Okay. Going back in with that darker brown shade that we used. Um, kind of like the shimmery one. And we're just going to blend 
and fix a couple of things to where it doesn't look so sloppy. Let's go back in with just a tiny bit more. This is a very pretty eyeshadow. And now what I'm going to do for the inner part is I'm going back into this palette and I'm going to take the gold shade in here on my pinky finger and I'm going to be putting that on the very inner part of my eyelid. Oh wow, those colors do not go together at all. This comes out darker than I would have thought. Yeah, this, this gold is a lot, lot darker on the eye than it looks in the pan. I'm actually struggling a little bit, so what I'm going to do is take this flat shader brush right here and try to just pack a little bit of that on because I have an idea to go in with a lighter shade over that to keep that gold color. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here and just put it over that gold we just used. Okay, I'm going to take this brush right here and go back in with the shade Game Night and just kind of blend it together. Um, I'm not really liking that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this shade all over the lid and cover up that Game Night. Game Night. We'll have to shave. Shave. Save that Game Night eyeshadow for another day. This looks very similar to the look I just posted. But hey, I tried to be different, it just it, it didn't work out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that um, darker matte brown and just, you know, clean some things up. I do like though that the gold is still really peeking through, so it's not just boring eyeshadow look. And then I'm going back in with that first matte brown shade we used just to go ahead and let's just make sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Pack on that shimmer that we lost. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in with that first shimmer shade right here and highlight the brow bone. Don't want it to be that harsh. We'll blend it out just a little bit. So now we're going to remove the eye tapes. And I did get some fallout from those shimmers. Um, so we're just going to take a big old fluffy brush and kind of sweep that away and I hope that my face doesn't look all stupid and shimmery. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and curl my lashes. Okay, now I'm going in with this Focaler Balm Lashes Mascara, and I'm so volumizing mascara. I'm usually a usually a lengthening kind of gal, but we'll go ahead and try it. I mean, it never hurts in trying. And then again, this is what the wand looks like, and we're just gonna go ahead and coat those lashes. Okay, so this is what it looks like with one coat. Now we're gonna go in with a second coat. Okay, and here is coat number two. And then one more coat because this actually is building up really, really nice. It's not clumping or anything like that. Time 
Okay, I think three coats is gonna be all you get out of this because now it's starting to get clumpy. So this is coat number three. But it doesn't, it still doesn't look bad. Like I, I think I like this mascara. It's just the wand is so big. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead with the face, but well, we're gonna go ahead and go on with the face. And the thing I have for that is what I got in my Ipsy. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and mine came in the shade Medium Sand. Okay. Ooh, it's kinda, it's kinda thick. I mean, that, that's probably what you expect from something that says clay, but still. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and take our Morphe sponge and we'll just start blending that in. Well, the coverage is there. It's kind of an awesome color match. I didn't even pull out a backup, pull out a backup foundation in case the color wasn't a good match, so I'm glad it matches. For the longest time, I don't know if it's just because I let people allow me to believe that I was like really light, like I needed like the lightest of foundations, but I don't know, maybe I was wearing foundation that was too light for me all this time because I've just started wearing medium within this last year and I feel like that fits me perfectly. Like, I don't know, we learn as we and we grow through makeup, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just spray a little bit of this on my sponge and then do like a once over on my face because it was really, really thick and it's not dry. Like it's not making my face feel dry, but it definitely doesn't feel moisturized. And also, I just want to make sure that I have everything blended out to perfection. So we'll just drag that down just a tad. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight. And so going back in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And if I didn't say in the beginning, I have mine in the shade 020 Light Beige. I don't know why, but I just recently like started getting dark around my mouth. And so that's why I started doing that just to brighten that up just a ton. I'm gonna need to grab my new concealer soon because I am scraping in this thing. Okay, so now going back in with my Mor Morphe sponge and we're just gonna start to blend all of this in. I don't know if you guys could tell but for a second it looks like in this area it was going to start picking up the foundation so usually how I fix that is I just take the side that I blended out my foundation with on the sponge and I'll just go over it just like that and that usually solves the problem just like that so now I'm going to go ahead and take this Bella Pierre banana setting powder and we're going to go ahead and set our face with this. And I am going to go ahead and set my entire face with this powder just because I'm not sure how this foundation is yet. Um, so just to be on the safe side, let's just go ahead and say, set the whole face. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the under eye, of course. This powder, like, I think I just found a new powder. So now we're gonna do what I like to do and for the rest of the face, go in with the big fluffy powder brush and let's just dust this over the rest of the face. So I am loving the way my skin looks right now. And now that I have more makeup on, you guys can actually see what the eye look is looking like. So I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, now going back in with this Focalore 
mas mascara palette. We're going to go back in with this light brown shade and it put that all over our lower lash line. And I'm not going to be too precise with this. I'm literally going back in with the same brush and everything. And we're just going to dust that. Okay, now going back in with that darker matte shade on the same brush. And I'm just going to pinch it to be a little bit more precise. And going in with that. And now just for the outer V, going back in with that darker shimmery brown and we're just gonna put this on the outer part. And now the tricky part because this mascara wand is so freaking huge is to coat the lower lashes with mascara. Okay, not bad. I actually really like that for the lower lashes like a lot. I feel like it really did a lot for my lower lashes and like you guys can really see too, like it did a lot for my lower lashes. Okay, next going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and we're just going to, of course, bronze up the face with that. And I'm actually going to be taking this bronzer brush right here just to be a little bit more precise with where I put this because I don't want to have to go in and contour. going in with this flat brush right here and I'm just going to be contouring the nose just a little bit. I like how that green gold like shines through and certain angles. Okay, I'm going to take my Island Holly Hottie Blush Palette, which you guys, it's completely broken at this point. <sighs> Such a sad day. But I'm going to scrape the inner corners of this one right here. And we're going to apply that to guess where? Our cheeks. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this one right here and just going over that. Mm, I love this blush palette. I need to get a new one. I say I want to get a new one. I don't need it. I want it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this sugar, with this sugar highlighter in the shade Champagne Champion. And we're just going to highlight our face with this. This is like my perfect shade in a highlighter. Like I don't think I've ever gotten a highlighter so perfect of a shade. Okay, and for lips, we're gonna go ahead and go in with my Jordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna go in with this Focalore Lip Crown in the shade Smoky Carmine. This is such a pretty color. Oh, she cute, cute. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my lashes one more time. Like I said, if you're not comfortable with cur curling your lashes after you apply mascara, you don't have to do it. This is just my preference because look at the difference in my lashes. I know, right? I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. And before I forget, like I did in my last video, I'm going to set my brows with the e.l.f. Brow Wow Setting Gel. 
and I have mine in the shade Deep Brown. Okay, you guys, so this is a completed look. I really like how it came out. Um, I have pretty much no complaints, so let's go ahead and do a rundown of all the products that actually came in the subscription boxes. I'm not gonna be doing a rundown of the products that I use all the time, obviously. Okay, so first thing first, I really like these brushes. For $3 each, I can't complain about them. These are actually really awesome, really cool, really good. Like, I, I like them. Um, they're soft and fluffy. Now this part is plastic, so it's super, super cheap, but like from the barrel up, like it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy, pretty strong. Like I said, the bristles are soft. There was no shedding. This was my first time using them, obviously. So I will go ahead and keep you guys posted on how these are after I wash them, if they shed or anything like that, start to fall apart. But so far, I really, really like these makeup eyeshadow brushes. Okay. And the next thing, this ultra repair hyaluronic um, primer from a first aid beauty. Um, so far I really like it. I can't really tell exactly what on my face is making my skin look the way it is, whether it's the foundation by itself or whether it's this primer, but I mean, this is really thick. I did feel my skin like, like soak it up immediately, but, um, yeah, so I, I don't have any complaints. Like I feel like my skin looks good as ever. I would definitely have to keep using this with like my usual foundations and not a new foundation that I'm trying out for the first time. But so far, I do really like this. The next thing, since we're on the topic of the face, let's go ahead and talk about the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Like I said, mine is in the shade Medium Sand. I love the way my makeup looks today. Like I have no complaints. My skin looks nice. It looks smooth. It, the color is perfect. Like there's no harsh lines or anything like that. It's I like this foundation so far. Like I said, it's another thing. Like just with the pri with the primer, I'll have to try this with the usual primers that I use. Um, so far the pores look good, and that's because this usually like it's. I have to use this with very specific foundations, and so for it to look so good with the Amazonian clay foundation, like double double thumbs up. Okay, and so this highlighter. Definitely my favorite thing out of everything. Um, do I need to say anything else about this highlighter? I mean, it speaks for itself all over my face, but I like it. Okay, this eyeshadow right here, it's really, really pretty. I'm pretty sure if I used a brush with it, it would have popped even more. And even though I put that eyeshadow on top of it when I turn in certain lights, you can still see that very, very green gold peeking through. And it's actually made my eyeshadow look really, really good. Now, onto this Focalore eyeshadow palette. No complaints about the palette. Everything was blendable. This is a more cool tone palette. Um, so, yeah, I think it's all blendable from here. I'm just going to have to see how long it wears, how it wears down, and everything like that. But no complaints so far. I like it. Like I said, I still wouldn't pay $19 for this because that's how much you would pay if you bought this individually is $19. So, yeah. And let's go ahead and talk about this mascara. Who knew that I would like such a fat mascara wand? I mean, that's probably my only complaint about the mascara is that the wand is so fat. But it like it like it does it. Like my I think my eyelashes look great today. I don't feel like I need falsies. I don't want to wear falsies with this mascara and it made my lower lashes look awesome too like i don't think you can ever really see my lower lashes in a video on screen and like i can see it looking into the screen right now recording okay and then this lip product i actually really like it's it's not super duper matte it's more of a satin than a matte and so I like it. It doesn't seem to be budging. I don't know if it has any staining or anything like that. These are all things that I'll, I'll let you guys know in the description box how all of this wore down. But other than that, you guys, oh, this powder. Oh my gosh, this might be why my makeup looks so freaking amazing. I love this powder. Oh, where has this been my whole life? 
Okay, so anyways, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already and you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. Bye. Mwah.